there are three million new reports of child abuse made every year. Even after a report is made, many times the children are returned to dangerous homes. Our next guest helps to intervene in the best interest of the child. Former prosecutor Randy Burton founded Justice for Children, and he is joined by Lisa Mikosh, who is also with the organization. Good morning. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We've come so far when it's come to, you know, rights for children, yes. but we have a long way to go. And part of the problem is just the disadvantage that many children have. No you question. saw that firsthand. Firsthand. I mean, everybody reads about it in the papers and on TV. And uh, Those are just the ones we hear about. Those are just the ones we hear about. Even this morning, there's a story about a two-year-old, excuse me, two-month-old baby girl that was beaten to death by her father. And they found multiple fractures that, that were healing. And... But I didn't realize until I was a prosecutor the real magnitude of the problem. And what, what I learned that just blew my mind is that a lot of these children could have been saved right. if the system did its job. Well, CPS. And, and you say system, CPS. Yes. There was a moment there where they said, we would like to keep the kids in their families. That's the healthiest thing. And, and with your background in uh, family services uh, from the University of Houston, your degree in human development and family services, yes. we know that children really do want to be with their parents. Mm -hmm. But we also know the damage caused when they can't be. Right. And we know that they um, will even profess how much they still love the abusive parent after they, they've made an outcry or it's been discovered. But that's not <laughs> healthy. Right, no. All right, how does Justice for Children change things? Well, we do it on several levels. There are other organizations that work on just policy. We do that. We help rewrite the federal law that provides monies to CPS. But what separates us from most others is that we handle individual cases. Mm -hmm. Our crack staff, and some of whom are in the audience today, are social workers who work these cases, develop the research and the evidence that we need, yeah. and we try to intervene directly with the agencies. If it's a family court or CPS or law enforcement, we try to fix the problem before we get one of our lawyers involved. And, but if we can't, then we talk to the Deborah Duncans and we talk, we have our lawyers go into court on behalf of these children. Yeah. Because as you said, and what's even more startling to me is that out of the three million nationwide every year, CPS only confirms one million, which we know is a low number. Yeah. But only 28% of the cases that they confirm, do they actually do anything? Wow. They leave the children in these known yeah. dangerous homes, so it's no surprise. In fact, Texas has led the nation in child fatalities, and last year, 60% of all the children who died in Texas, CPS had an active file with. Wow. So that means all those children yeah. could have been saved. And, and not saving these children, we, we also kind of reproduce this cycle of abuse, this cycle of drug addiction, all types of things are symptoms Absolutely. of other right. things. All right, several ways that people can help. You need volunteers, uh, but especially free legal representation for clients. Yes. Uh, annual appeal for just $25 yes. that can, can do a lot. Um, and you say volunteers, what kind of experience do we need to have to help? Actually, our volunteers come from various backgrounds. We have, uh, currently, we have a former private investigator. We have a paralegal. We have um, a lot of interns uh, studying psychology or in the legal field. Um, and um, I have public relation people yeah. and social workers, obviously. All right, and if a child workers. you know is in danger, first call law enforcement and CPS and then contact Justice for Children so they can intervene on that child's behalf. For more information on Justice for Children, you can visit their website, justiceforchildren.org. You can also call them at 713-225-4357, 713-225-4357. Thank you all very much for what you Thank do. You. Thank, Thank you all for coming you. in Thank this morning. So Have a great day, everybody. <laughs> Angel is I'm feeling it because it's gone.